G'day everyone, Mark here from Mark and Cars. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute, I appreciate that, and thank you for watching. Today I am in Sydney. I'm at Ron Goodman's workshop, and he has an amazing selection of cars that I'm gonna have a bit of a walk through, talk through, see how we go, show you some incredible stuff. Let's have a look. collection's amazing. This is all Ron's cars. You can see what he loves. What you'll see is one very common theme. They are all painted Goodman grey. His own colour grey with a green complement through the car and he clearly loves a yellow tinted lens. So anyway, let's go and have a bit of a walkie talkie through what we've got here. Okay, as soon as you walk in the door, first car we come across is Ron's 356 that he used in the Road to Monterey video. Now, if you haven't seen that video, it is available here on YouTube, and I will include a link because, to me, one of the better um, 356-themed videos you'll ever see. Now, the engine is incredibly pretty. Have a look at this carb setup here. The whole car presents beautifully. Um, Everything into the airbox are quite interesting. The interior is stunning. You can see here with, uh, so it's an A, oh, sorry, a pre-A, judging from the V in the window. Have a look at the roof lining above that roll cage. That would not have been easy. Big mirror there, like a good race car, so you can see what's going on. So yeah, if you haven't seen the video, do watch it, it'll give you a better appreciation for this car. Um, we've got his car that he's going to use in a charity drive to Uluru from Parramatta in Sydney here. And it's all been hand painted by some indigenous artists here in Sydney. This is all dot painting. Look, I know the camera's not going to do this justice, but it is stunning the work that's gone into this. How's the size of the tyres for all the gravel roads you're going to drive on? They are apparently truck tyres. Let's have a look inside of this one. This is all built for comfort. This is, it looks like a T6 356B that has been converted. At a guess, it might be a C actually, from that interior. Uh, oh no, I think it is a B. Um, yes, it's been converted left to right at some point. It's an Australian, uh, not an Australian car. It is a, the car was bought here in Australia and had all this work done to prepare it for that trip. Over here we have got the 356, this is a T5B by the looks of it, and this is highly, highly modified. Have a look, headlights here, they look a long way from stock. We've got some Rudge knockoff wheels, they are the real deal. So um, just have a look at the detail in this car. A fuel tank, the lines. Absolutely stunning the amount of energy that's gone in this car. And the interior is just a thing of detail to behold. We've got Caesar style seats that have had some crisscross leather put in. Let's make sure it doesn't hit anything. Again, the yellow tint that I mentioned earlier has the steering wheel on it. Pedal box there, the actual gear shifter. That piece of carbon on it's actually up a GD2 RS, can you believe? Um, the car overall, the attention to detail, <laughs> have a look at this nitrous bottle, and because, you know, let's face it, one's never enough. 
and it's got a, a very much a aircraft theme going on here in this car for the obvious reason that it has, hang on, before I get to that, what are those things, those clear door handles? It's got these carbon intakes for the back of the car here. Well, let's see whether I can get this open. We can. We're dealing with a three-cylinder radial engine. I don't know how well you can see that. There's the one cylinder. Right down the bottom is another. Down there, and there's the third one. And it also has nitrous, because why wouldn't you? There's this exhaust system here. This has all been um, 3D printed out of uh, Inconel. Stunning. You can see it's quite low here. That's one of the intakes there. There's another one there for those bottom two cylinders. Yeah, quite an amazing motor car, really. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but apparently these are off a McLaren 650S or something like that, or 540S. Yeah, the attention to detail on the mirrors and the, around the frames and the drilling. Yeah, stunning. Uh, what else we got here? It's going to be a long walk around. Bronze. 906 race car. Now this is, I imagine, a replica, a tribute car or a replica. If it's a real deal, it's pretty stunning. It's actually, he had a bit of a really slow speed touch um, on the wall at a track day a couple of days ago. So on cold tyres, just warming up the tyres and yeah, the car didn't turn. Here is the interior. Such amazing dimensions, these cars. What a, what a classic car. I believe this is the last race car for the road that Porsche built, off memory. Got another um, 356, looks like a T6 body with a speed to style windscreen. So I don't know if it started as a cabriolet or not, but it's definitely got no roof now and it is pure race car. So look at this. On the side, yeah, have a look at that. Gear shifter. Just one big taco, have a look at that. Yeah, great looking car. It's got a Kirky Speedway seat in it too. Hmm, passenger seat doesn't look too comfortable. Um, what have we got here? Oh, 914.6. Got a bit of stuff in it at the moment, but you know, Fuchs wheels, big pumped out guards. Let's see, you can see the engine. Doesn't look like there's a cover on it. Oh yeah, look at this. So this is uh, all business. It's got some carbon looking intakes or something going on there. Yeah, this is uh, this wasn't built for comfort, there's no doubt about that. Great graphic on the hood here, have a look at this. Lots of historical stuff. There's Ron's uh, famous number 23 on everything. It's also got a nine, another 914 here. This is actually a 944 cylinder, but it's actually turbocharged. You mentioned to me it punches out something like 500 horsepower. This does actually look more like a road car, but that would be horrific, punching out that sort of number. Uh, it's, oh, it's actually got two separate seats. I had a 914 in the past, those of you who know me. We'll have a look at the intake there. Cracker. Uh, we've got a 911 that looks like a bit of an evocation to a, maybe an ST or 911R or something along those lines. <laughs> have a look at the uh, the wheels are flat tyres, the car obviously hasn't moved for a while. You've got this copper um, inserts. Look at how the offset on those rims. It's also got a copper style um, roll cage and the seat too. Have a look at that. Let's see this car's over. Oh, it is good. You have a look at the frame of the seat. Interesting. Fiberglass dash going in up there. Yeah, this should be an interesting little project once it's done. There's a carbon finish around here. It looks pretty unique. Again, yellow tint. The windows. We've got a, this is a 944. Again, another race car. Uh, we've got a shell here for a 906. Fiberglass shell on display. Looks amazing on display actually, with the, especially with the lighting underneath it and everything. 906 there. Yeah, the old, all the memorabilia in here is, yeah, fantastic. Trophies from events and stuff like that. While we're walking around, we're also 
It's some sort of scooter used for carting tyres and pits or something like that, I imagine. Mm. Fascinating. Got an old Porsche tractor that is a long way from ever running again, I'd suggest. Looks like it's missing something quite important under here. Exactly what, I don't know. <laughs> it's a duty. We've got a Volkswagen thing, or 182 actually, not a 181, because it's a right hand drive. Oh, hang on, before I get to that, got an old 356 motor here. Um, I'm guessing that at some point, due to these welds, Conrod might have tried to find its way outside to say hello. So it's probably just turned into a display now. It's actually quite incomplete. We've got, you know, this valve and springs retainers here but these ones aren't in anyway ooh, nice looking exhaust system on it what else we got here ooh, gd3 996 gd3 it looks like and run clearly loves a race car which is let's face it what porsches are all about so what we want and uh then we've got a couple of american cars an old corvette it's about 55 56 something like that era i think stunning cars and a mustang so that's the walkthrough, and um, there are some beauties in here. Run also keeps this banner here, and for visitors, this is from the, obviously, Motor Racing Festival 2013, where he was one of the sponsors. And you see all the signatures on here. These are people that have come to visit Ron and his workshop. So yeah, there's some amazing signs here, and we did a bit of a mark in cars too. So some of the details of the Uluru car, where it looks like we've got a winch being mounted on the front. Obviously a communications antenna, there's actually two of them. Um, got some shoe-roos to try and deter kangaroos. Spare wheel on the roof. These timber slats are a pretty interesting solution. Just for those that know, these rubber bungees aren't, is what keeps the tyre on. Uh, has a dot painting on the shovel for digging out of getting bogged. Yeah, we've already spoken about the paint on the car, which is just stunning. Nice touch here on the hubcaps. So they've been painted Goodman Grey as well, and had this Porsche decal or chrome block out. It's got some mud flaps that have been fitted, and with the chains to stop them from dragging on the road. They look amazing. Inside we've got the radio. A bit of now seems relatively stock. Big comfy coupe seats. They are big and springy too. Cars actually sits quite high um, because of the big fat tyres that we spoke about earlier. Bit of luggage space in the back. He's also got retractable seat belts for safety. Yeah, this thing would be quite an adventure driving all the way to, oh, I actually mentioned earlier that I thought it might be a B. I think it might be C because it has armrests on the doors. Like all Ron's cars, they open and close very nicely. You'd, you know, him being a um, panel beater and, or a panel man. So, yeah, this uh, looks like police think about um, scanning the QR code, get an understanding about the raising funds for the Sydney Children Hospital Foundation, what the event's all for. So if those of you ever wondered what it's like inside a 906, have a look at the seats. Yes, that is the seat. Um, you can see that back of the helmet is worn. This, this is all fiberglass. You can see the engine through the back there. Usually a two litre in these cars, in these Carrera 6s. Dash is very basic. Have a look inside there. This big fat taco. And oil pressure gauge, a few lights, oh hang on, got an oil temp gauge down here too, pedal box, and obviously a steering wheel for on and off, rear vision mirror at the top here, they have a gullwing style door, and here are some of the events that the car has entered into over the years, so you can see it's been in the States, the road Atlanta, Yeah, 
<laughs> Absolutely amazing. So other than the 904, I don't think there's a better looking vintage Porsche than the 906. Any listeners out there tell me what these drums might be off? You won't see many in this condition. What a day. Well worth the trip coming all the way here to Sydney to see these amazing motor vehicles. I'm sure you'll agree. Incredible collection. If you're a 356 guy or an old Porsche guy, it doesn't get much more exciting than this. Ron's been very gracious in his time and I even enjoyed sitting down and have breakfast with him this morning. I've had an incredible experience and I'm very grateful for the opportunity. I took some bit of time to do a podcast with Ron a few months ago on Porsche Talk. If you haven't listened to that already, I'll put a link below. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. Marking Cars.